Hi, I'm Yasin al Ashrafa. I'm the Managing Director of HQ Familiar Record Label and HQ Recording Studio in Leicester. Uh, the main ideas and goals behind the label really were to showcase the best upcoming talent in Leicester. So I've had a studio here, we've been here for about six years now. So I've worked with quite a lot of artists over that time and there's a lot of talent, but it's not really being heard. So we had a lot of stuff just on the computer and on the SoundCloud that was kind of felt it was just too good to not, not be heard. So we ended up setting up the label so that we could help people get the music out there. And the goals, to be honest, is just to make it as big as it can possibly be, just to just to blow up really and get get music heard all over the world and get tours and you know kind of we just want to. Aim, aim for the top. Biggest challenge, I'll be honest, is is budget. You know, like everything costs a lot of money in the music. You know, like the promotion, the marketing, everything, like radio pluggers. It's all like a really expensive game. You know, so obviously the people we're up against have got big budgets and was already maybe better connected we are than we are. But if I had a big pot of money, then would would be kind of we'd get there quicker. But on the flip side, everything else we've kind of got at our disposal, like the studio and the mixing and mastering. Uh, record label in box has been good because it was kind of a, a really fast way of starting a label. You know, we just bought the record label in a box, and bam, we've got the contracts, we've got the the, the database, and we've got the, the the platform just to release music really easily and stuff. And but the, the way that the internet that it works with setting up your releases, you can manage your artists, you can get your contracts for different types of deals, 360 or signing artists, and so. Kind of that aspect of it, it's just it's, it's just all there at your fingertips. It's been good to know that we can just email Ditto and get advice and, you know, kind of just to have something a bit more kind of recognised and established to, to kind of maybe also give us a bit of credibility in what, we, what we're doing rather than just starting a label and not really knowing too much too much about it, I suppose. First, uh, first artist I signed was Asher X. She basically, I met Asha through a project. I do, I do a project work as well for like Big Lottery, Princess Trust and stuff. And there's a project called Talent Match. And she joined that because it was, she was a poet basically. And she came in as a poet and she we decided to give her some hip hop beats to do poetry over. She was basically, she was really good. We really liked it. Her time came to an end. So rather than kind of just sending her on away, basically offered her, offered to sign her so that we could keep getting her in the studio and kind of that was last October so we've been working with her ever since and we've just she was she's got one of the tracks on the debut EP which was do one and now we've done a charity single true romance for headway and she's got her EP dropping on the 11th of December so had an epiphany like it's the 6th of January garden grows my clothes in the wheat smoke what contrary I started off as a poet so I guess it's poetry over music but it is I do different genres like hip hop, done a grime track. At a time in my life when I wasn't really leaving the house much I was like a little bit sort of depressed and anxious and I've started putting my poem, poems up online. Someone that was involved in the hip hop scene in Leicester a long time ago saw one of my poems and was like oh that's really good you know like can you send me something in that's more like a you know like done, to, done over music so I sent him something in and then put me in, in touch with Yasin at HQ and after that we just decided to make an EPA and then I just stayed I just stayed on I'm looking at you you said I'd never be now you can look at me now yeah working with HQ has been brilliant like they've been really really patient with me because I've been I was quite nervous at the start um, and they've just worked with me and helped me evolve as an artist Plus, like, everyone's so sound. We're all just really good friends as well. And I think, aside from me, I think HQ is really, really exciting at the moment. It just seems like, you know, everything that's going on with Leicester music scene is like, is centred around HQ. And there's just so much great stuff coming out of it. So I'm really pleased to be part of it. Charlie, the other signed artist, he's the cousin of one of the producers who works there. And I just heard one of his songs and it was it was really good, so I just thought, yeah, this is like I just wanted it. I was like, I want that track. Like, so I managed to talk him into giving me that track. And then uh, we, we've signed him up as well. And then everyone else just kind of met through the studio, through doing projects and 
the music scene in Leicester. So the EP, basically that was like a compilation of five tracks that we that we had that we kind of we didn't really know what to do with them. They weren't part of EPs or albums. So we thought what we'll do, we'll do a compilation. We kind of show a bit of the diversity we're working with. So there's hip hop on there, there's grime on there, there's kind of stuff a bit kind of more like R and B and a bit of singing and it was just kind of a we thought we'd just start off with something that shows a bit of everything that we do. So basically I've been doing events in Leicester for years, about seven years. Um, do like showcase events for upcoming artists and stuff. We started, since we did the label, I've started doing an event called HQ Familiar and Friends. So that's basically so that we can do events every six to 12 weeks for our artists so that they're always performing to stay sharp and you know kind of keep perfecting the craft. And then we, we invite a few of the people the friends to come and perform and stuff. So um, we went to not BBC Nottingham. We had an interview with Dean Jackson. He really liked the music and what we're doing. Asked how that converts into a live show. Um, so we told him basically in, into a really good live show. Everything we do is pretty good. So we've, we've managed to now kind of do it in a bit of a. So that now BBC introducing East Midlands uh, co-hosting. So. We've just we've boosted the lineup a bit, so we've got I think 13 acts on this one, and it's just around the corner at the shed, which is perfect because it's you know, just around the corner, um, and it's a great venue as well. So yeah, it's just a kind of just something that's ongoing, but hopefully this will be the one of the biggest and best ones yet. So next year we've got quite a few projects underway. We've got a project with a local artist called Jaffro. We've got. Um, I think two or three singles coming out with the signed artist Charlie Georgia. We're probably going to do another compilation album because we've still got quite a few bits that don't really fit into their own EPs or singles, but they'll be nice as a compilation. And like events, want to keep doing more events and stuff, and kind of just keep raising the profile of the of the label because we only started in. I think it was the beginning of June, so we're, we're still really new. So really, it's just about getting as much stuff out there as we can, making it all, keeping the quality, the quality all really high. And, and I want to start making making some bigger moves next year. Kind of, this year was about building. Next year is kind of about progressing. So just want to keep kind of keep the plan going.